Two rivals have been together in this conference for over a decade. Another old foe is still out of the picture, and it has some wondering tonight, will they ever come back in? John Gaskins joins us with more in our 530 Top Story. Hi, John. Hi, Brian. There's a sign promoting Augustana University that looms over the arena's court and this event, and it's been doing so for a few years now, dating back to when the school put together a charge to join the Summit League. After the President's Council turned down Augie in 2020, the school's leadership said it was disappointed, but they still had a goal to become a Division I program. So what if Augustana, a former North Central Conference rival, joined the Jackrabbits and the Coyotes in the city's biggest college sports party? I think locally it'd be well received. You know, just another local team to add to the mix. I think it, I think it would be a positive thing, something to look forward to. And, and you just, you can't beat that in-state rivalry. I didn't really grow up in an era where we cared about Augie all that much. So if they, if they join the conference, so be it, but you know, it's not going to keep me up at night one way or the other. Summit League Commissioner Josh Fenton said the conference ideally prefers to have an even number of members. It currently has nine. I asked Fenton if Augustana is on the radar. We've been taking a bit more of a holistic approach to our membership and what are the opportunities that are out there that may add value and have had you know, not much conversation about Augustana. This, Fenton says, is partly because in 2021, the school decided to pivot to a vision of one Division I sport, men's hockey. Three years later, the Vikings just completed their first season on the ice. The university says it is not actively pursuing a Division I all sports conference invite, but it is monitoring the constant changes of the college sports landscape. And if and when things change, what factors would the league consider? Geography, uh, financial opportunities, recruiting markets, media markets significant, um, institutional fit. Remember the USD fan who said he didn't care if Augie ever joins the summit party? Well, he did mention one caveat. If it would help the tournament stay here in Sioux Falls, so be it. Because I don't think anybody from around these parts wants to see it end up in Kansas City or Omaha or Minneapolis. 